Well, it was a beautiful day to get outside. It's only going to get warmer. Meteorologist Matt Wins joins us live now from his home. And hey, Matt, <laughs> I made it to this newscast. <laughs> yeah, Lena, if you wouldn't have the kids streaming 24 hours a day, you wouldn't hit that data overage. <laughs> Everything <laughs> settled there? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, it was the right, TVU well, unit. Real... It was the cell phone towers that went down. Who knows? Technology. Oh. Yeah, it's just, just one of those days. Well, I missed you, trust me. So I'm really glad you're back. Uh, <laughs> it has been a transition day today. I don't think anyone's complaining. Uh, we went from the, kind of the colder atmosphere we had earlier this week. We went to the 70s today and then tomorrow. We are way up into the 80s, and we're going to stay in the 80s with some humidity. So I did a little digging on the first 80-degree day. We have not had one yet this year in the Cleveland area. Akron, you hit one last week, but Cleveland has not hit 80. And if we hit 80 tomorrow, which we pretty much will, this is going to be the latest first 80 degrees since 2006. That's quite a while ago. I thought that was just a couple years ago, but no, time flies. And it will actually be the third latest since the 1930s, so 80-plus years. And it's only been two times that we've had had a later first 80. So how about that? A cool spring for sure. Your forecast preview for tomorrow looks like this. Partly cloudy skies, more humid tomorrow morning. You'll feel it will be in the 60s. A couple pop-up showers and thunderstorms possible in the afternoon. Get used to that in the forecast. As no rhyme or reason, we may see some with a lake breeze, but we're in the 80s. Temperatures tonight, you're starting to feel that uptick. It's not going to be muggy tonight. It's going to be pretty comfortable still. We're in the 60s for most of us. We may see some upper 50s on the board. I think most of us settle in the low 60s. The humidity not quite here yet. It's humid outside, but it's manageable. We've measured that with the dew points. When they're near 60, you feel the air. When they're way up into the 60s, that's when you really start to feel the air. Look at the dew points around the country, though. We've got a whole area of warm, humid air heading in here. That has triggered some severe storms, even tornadoes back in areas of Illinois. Some of those storms that I'm watching head through northern Indiana. Uh, still packing a punch, but they should fade. We may see some leftover showers from that in the morning, but they should move out quickly. But look at the picture across the country. You can see the heat causing all those showers and thunderstorms to really bubble up as we go throughout the afternoons, and that's what we are going to be dealing with. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Maybe a spotty shower. You see the model picking up on that across the Lakeshore counties tomorrow morning. Otherwise, we have partly cloudy skies. We're in the 80s tomorrow. A nice south wind. That humidity really pumping in may trigger some additional showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Those will go away tomorrow night. Monday for Memorial Day, we do it all over again. A muggy start. We'll be up into the mid-80s with humidity. May trigger a couple showers and storms. I think they'll be uh, few and far between, comparatively speaking. And then after that, look what happens. This ridge really builds in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but then we finally get some refreshing air in here on Saturday and Sunday before that ridge builds back to our west. The muggy meter keeps the humidity here. You'll notice it tomorrow. You'll really notice it Memorial Day and refreshing air next Friday, Saturday. Actually, it looks really nice next Friday and Saturday. Universal Windows Direct 10-day forecast looks like this. Mid 80s with humidity over the course of the week with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Best chance of storms on Thursday, refreshing for the weekend, and we get pretty comfortable as we go on into the latter half of the next weekend. We'll be back with Nick after the break.